Okay, hi everyone! Um, I am going to do something a little bit differently today. I'm going to try and film a YouTube video every single day of the week this week. So I'm going to try and get at least five videos up, okay? So today I released my unboxing of my iPhone. This is probably going to go up tomorrow morning and then um, etc, etc. But I want to try something a little bit new today where I pretty much just sit down in front of the camera and talk to you guys. And that's the kind of videos that I love to watch on YouTube um, of my favorite YouTubers where they pretty much just sit down and I'm gonna make sure this is okay. Um, and talk to me and well, <laughs> okay, that sounded weird. Talk and let me know what's going on in their life and not kind of vloggy shit. So yeah, I thought I would just come down and sit down in my sister's room and talk to you guys and let you know what is going on in my life. Let you me let you know what is going on with my stream, etc, etc. So let's go. We hit 200,000 followers on Twitch, which was absolutely the most overwhelming, insane um, goal that I've hit thus far on Twitch, I never anticipated my stream growing to this size or being able to put this much time and energy and love into it that I have been able to, which is absolutely freaking awesome. You guys are my life right now. You could definitely say I'm addicted to streaming and you, so yes, I have a problem, but it is okay. So also what else is going on in my life? I had my brother and sister, they came back from university uh, to the Okanagan to celebrate Thanksgiving with me. Canadian Thanksgiving is great. I think it's very similar to American Thanksgiving, although I've noticed that Americans take their Thanksgiving way more seriously than we do. Like, we just get together as family, eat good food, hang out, that sort of thing. So I was sad to see them leave, but at the end of the day, I needed to get back to work. And whenever I have people at my house, whether it's Glenn or my brother or sister, or, or even if my parents are, like, trying to hang out with me, or my friends in real life, I... I have a hard time with it because I <laughs> want to spend all my time growing my stream and doing stream related things such as filming random YouTube videos. Um, so it kind of drives me crazy because it's a mix of guilt and like fear of missing out on stream and fear of missing out hanging out with them. So yeah, I go a little crazy. So I like when I'm just, you know, I got nothing to do and I can just focus all my time and attention on you guys. I write down on reminders um, what my uh, goals are and then I take a screenshot and make it my background. So we'll get a little extra personal what my current goals are. Um, I want to hit 200,000 followers and 10 months of streaming. I already did that. <laughs> okay, I guess I can take that one off. Um, I really want to average 2,000 viewers my issue with viewers though on my stream is my stream, I've focused on the interaction side of entertainment and as the view count goes up, the interaction falls down. I can be responding to people's questions and comments in chat con constantly and I still am not able to meet everyone's demands. Um, so it's kind of interesting. I feel like I am going to hit like a mark where people who come for the interaction, um, so as interaction goes up they come, but then there's hits a amount of viewers where they can't get enough interaction, like the people who like to watch my stream who watch it for that, um, so then that drops down. So I'm not sure, but I, I think just a natural growth is a good goal to have, even though I'm very, very, very happy with our average viewers currently. Also, I really want to expand uh, my Kitty Plays brand, so that means into things like YouTube, into things like a website. Um, I would love to start helping other people with their streams and what I think they would benefit from. Um, I know I haven't been streaming for very long, but I've been able to apply a lot of my business knowledge and background for my stream, and I think that a lot of other streamers would benefit from that, so I would love to do that as well with my Kitty Plays brand. Um, another thing I have in here is Move Out by January, and this is kind of a funny thing because I was so planned. I found an apartment in San Francisco. I was meant to move right after PAX Prime, and then things fell through with the person that I was supposed to be moving with, which is totally cool, but then 
it wasn't affordable anymore. And it wasn't that it, it wasn't affordable. I could afford to live in San Francisco, but I don't want to be spending an extra like $2,000 to do that and live in a nice place. You know, I don't want to have to live in a basement grungy suite paying ridiculous amounts of money by myself um, when I can get a place that is similar standard of living in Seattle and Vancouver, very similar to San Francisco, um, for cheaper still. So that fell through and then I looked, have been looking at Vancouver, I found a place in Vancouver and then when I contacted the people, um, they were like, okay, great, you know, um, you can come by and see it this weekend and then they uh, decided to give it to someone who could see it earlier and offered them a little bit more money. And I was like, oh, it was such a perfect apartment. I was so sad. So yeah, I haven't been that lucky, but um, everything in my life, I've always felt like if it's not working out in that moment, it is just not meant to work out. And I do not spend any time worrying about that. But I thought you guys should know that's where I'm at with moving. And it's weird, my, my parents do make me pay rent here. Um, and I do love living with them, they take very, very good care of me, but at the end of the day, I would like to have my own place. I just have this need to have my own space and do my own thing, and I went from living apart from them for three and a half years when I was going to university at the University of Saskatchewan, um, to coming home, and, um, yeah, it's been great. I feel like an only child and I definitely get spoiled, but I need to be an adult <laughs> and have my own space and move forward with my life. So the issue with that has just been, if I am not going to be at the place that I'm spending X amount of dollars on because I am traveling to conventions so much, what is the point of living anywhere but home? Because home is always cheaper. Um, so that's kind of what I've been struggling with. So I think I'm gonna, I wanted to move out this October, but then November is BlizzCon, and then I'm going to Vegas. I'm taking my 21 year old sister to Vegas. That's my birthday present to her um, after BlizzCon, and then I'm gonna be in DreamHack for a week in Sweden. So would it make sense to pay rent for an entire month of November? Probably not. So, and then December is Christmas, and I'm like, I don't know, whatever. If you guys have advice on this topic, I am definitely open <laughs> for that. Oh, and then my last goal is to reach 30K subs on YouTube. Um, I made a goal for myself and for you guys that I would make a draw my life for my YouTube channel at 30K subs. Um, I'm kind of nervous about this because I'm a terrible artist and I don't really know how to tell my story, but I guess it will be interesting when we reach that goal because we will. Because we are the kitty team and we are so fast at growing and we're awesome and I love you guys. Yay! Um, plans for this week with my stream and life is just probably take a day off tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, today was my sixth day of streaming and I've been having some issues where Valve has changed their IP. Um, how do you explain this? IP rules, I guess, where people can actually get the IP of my servers that I'm playing competitive on and then are DDoSing the fuck out of them so they're unplayable and uh, they time it very well. So they time it when we were trying to plant the bomb and, and can't plant and then just lose. So that's been a little bit frustrating for me with stream, but like obviously there's going to be ways that I can fix that or get around it. Also, I'm really excited to try some of the new games that have come out this fall. I'm really excited for Warlords of Draenor. Um, I've been playing WoW since I was 10, 12 years old, for 10 years. Um, so I think my dad and I are both going to go and get into that and play. I've been trying to get my characters ready on and off stream. Um, so that'll be fun. And then the new Halo is coming out too. So two of my top games um, are coming out with their new versions this fall. So that's going to be really exciting. Um, and yeah, I think I'm just going to be preparing for BlizzCon, Vegas, and DreamHack, I guess, the next couple of weeks. Um, I'm kind of nervous about BlizzCon, I don't know why, like, I'm, I'm very, very good at meeting people, I, I'm very nice and, and easy to talk to usually, um, so that's not like, I don't know, but I'm still, I'm always nervous about meeting you guys, um, a lot of that is because I don't want 
your um, impression of me in person um, to be distorted from who I am on stream because I'm always so genuine on stream so I hope that in my real life I convey the same level of myselfness um, and I actually find that I'm even more myself on my stream than in real life if that makes any sense because in real life I always have like this excess layer of um, standards that I hold myself to uh, when I'm around other people so it's kind of interesting but a little bit nerve-wracking so I'm ex really excited for BlizzCon I do have an extra ticket and I don't know what to do with it um, so if any of you guys have the abilities to go to BlizzCon um, but are just missing a ticket uh, let me know um, also I was thinking like because I can't really do a giveaway for it unless I like paid for the trip like it's I don't know it's confusing so I don't know what to do with it I might just um, bring uh, one of my family members and be like you like wow right <laughs> a little bit and you want to come with me so we'll see what happens with that yeah I wasn't really sure what I wanted this to be but I knew that I sometimes think better when I talk to out loud and now to you guys so maybe hopefully a little bit different than how you guys have me on stream where I am constantly replying to your guys' messages and can f kind of feed off of that dialogue. Um, this is more just what's going on in my life right now. So hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely spank the sub button. I really want to hit 30k subs so I can take on the challenge of making a draw my life. And I uh, hope you guys all have a absolutely fantastic day and I will see you guys probably tomorrow when I upload another video hopefully this is my challenge to myself I need to I feel like I keep feeling like I'm hitting my goals too fast so I'm trying to make new ones and so for this week it's gonna be make a YouTube video every day of the week so yeah appreciate you guys love you guys I will see you tomorrow bye